everyone um, hope you're all well and thank you for joining me today so this meditation is for the third eye chakra and uh, when our third eye chakra or you might know it as the brow ch chakra um, is in balance and alignment and it's flowing um, it aids our intuition and uh, our imagination and also our inner wisdom so um it's quite a big one uh for to be working properly really because if we can't um visualize things properly and we can't use our imagination then it can cause problems particularly if we're trying to manifest things into our lives so um in a good healthy way so quite important um for, for a myriad of reasons as well as you know our health problems sometimes um if we're suffering anxiety or depression these can um our third eye chakra can have a lot of problems um it can become quite clogged um, and it can run quite slowly so uh if you are on a yoga mat or you're on a meditation cushion uh, I would recommend that you have some blankets with you just in case you do get a bit cold. If you've been much closer to the ground, you're probably going to feel the cold a little bit more. Uh, if you are in a chair like myself, um, make sure your feet are flat on the floor and you're as comfortable as you can possibly be. Also, please ensure that you have a drink near you as well. So... We're going to start by taking three large breaths in through your nose and just slowly take that air in, draw it in, and just hold on to it for as long as you can, notice that your stomach's quite full and it'll feel quite tense and then just allow that air to nicely flow out again through your nose as you exhale and on the exhale you'll notice that your stomach comes softer and it contracts and if you'd like to say that again for me that would be lovely And when you're ready, if you'd like to take that last breath, um, large breath in through your nose, that'd be lovely for me. So now we are going to work through a series of affirmations, um, visualisations, and I'll be giving you some little tips along the way through the meditation. So... Our first affirmation is miracles are coming my way. So whenever I hear this, this is for me one of the strongest ones um, that I can think of in terms of using for manifesting. If I was looking to manifest something, this would be something I'd be looking to affirm myself that miracles are coming my way and that I, you know, I believe that miracles can happen every day so now I would like you to imagine a purple light radiating from your forehead um, and while I am affirming I'll be reciting the affirmation miracles are coming my way Just while you're visualising that purple light and listening to me recite the affirmation. I'd like you to focus on the miracles you would like to come forward. Whether that would be um, a new partner, a new home, a new job, um, a lifestyle change, um, uh, more money. Whatever it is, um, let's, um, let's focus on that for the time being. If you find yourself getting distracted... Um, just come back to your breath. Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. 
Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. Miracles are coming my way. So the next affirmation we're going to be focused on is I trust in a higher power. So if you are looking to do connection work, then this is a very good um, affirmation for you to set out with uh, before you are looking to do any deep connection work through meditation or whether you're using cards, um, crystals, crystal ball, um, if you're using your pendulum, if you are doing automatic writing, if you're doing psychic art, whatever. Um, uh, flower readings, whatever it is that you're looking to do through connection, then I would definitely recommend you set this affirmation, state this affirmation at least three times to yourself before doing any of that work. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to chant the mantra OM for 30 seconds and all you need to do is you can join in with me chanting that mantra but just allow yourself to be open to receive any information whether that's images, sounds, um, words, whatever it is um, just be open to receive him that um, it could even be like a sensation or a smell or even a taste. Om. 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 I trust in a higher power. 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 So the next affirmation we are going to move on to is all paths lead to my destiny. So, if you are wanting to promote within yourself a, a sense that everything will be fine, no matter what, you'll always be provided for, um, you will always be given the right information and the right information at the right times, um, or the right inspiration at the right times, um, Drinking lavender tea is um, a really good way of doing it. It's actually also really relaxing as well, drinking lavender tea. It does help some people with headaches and migraines. Um, so look for information uh, after this meditation on lavender tea if you are interested. Um, it can also um, boost our connection uh, with spirit as well. So, you know. Winner, winner. So, while I recite the affirmation for the next 30 seconds, just think to yourself, all is well. 
All paths lead to my destiny. 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 So the next affirmation we're going to be working with is my spirit guides protect me. So everyone has spirit guides, um, whether the team is active or not is um, is another matter. But if you are actively looking to make that connection, then your team will be active. Um, and this... Um, what I'm going to get you to do is, while I'm reciting uh, this affirmation, I'm going to ask you to visualise um, a protective bubble coming up from around you. Now, some people prefer it coming from up above, so it's coming from the crown, so they know they're safe and protected, but it'll envelop the whole of your body, or it can come up from your feet, either way. Um, whatever you are drawn to because some people work better with it coming from above your head some people are better with it coming up from the ground um it's very much a personal preference thing so once i start reciting this affirmation i like to start visualizing that bubble coming up around you my spirit guides protect me my spirit guides protect me. 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 So the last affirmation we're going to be working with is the answers I seek are within. So if you are looking for answers and you're feeling a bit lost, I'd recommend um, holding a piece of amethyst and you can hold it, um, you can even place it um, on your forehead to activate the chakra to keep it um to give it a bit of a boost and you can ask a question and let your higher self answer you can also use an amethyst pendulum i personally use an amethyst pendulum when i am doing my reading so it's um another good way of uh, communicating with your higher self so just take this time to ask is there any guidance or wisdom your higher self or your soul would like you to know while I am reciting this next and last affirmation. The answers I seek are within. 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 The answers I seek are within.
So that was our last affirmation. So now I would like you to take those three large breaths in through your nose again, just like you did at the start. We want to slowly start to bring ourselves back round. Just as before, hold the breath as long as you can. When you're ready, take a big exhale. Inhale in. Exhale. Oh, apologies. The next, take your next breath in. When you're ready. And then take that final large breath in through your nose. And then allow your breath, breathing to return to its natural rhythm. And give your toes and fingers a wiggle and a wriggle. Give yourself a big, big stretch. And when you're ready, just gently open your eyes and notice that you're home. So uh, thank you for joining me for that uh, third eye chakra meditation. So uh, some of the things that you can do at home for things like this. Um, so I'll start with crystals. So crystals um, are a fabulous way of connecting with spirit. I personally find so crystals like amethyst, um, lepidolite, um, also it's good to have things uh, such as clear quartz, that is a master healer, it's a, a, it really is a jack of all trades, um, that's um, an absolutely fantastic crystal to use, uh, particularly if you're wanting to do a lot of connection work. Um, also... Uh, or you can also use a lapis lazuli as well. I must remember to tell you that. So, in terms of colours, how you use the colours, it's purple that I would that I would recommend when you're using colours for linking with the third eye. So you can have accents within your home, uh, within your clothing. You can wear jewellery. Uh, you often get a lot of pieces of amethyst uh, in jewellery, so uh, that's quite a popular one. If you are wanting to use scents, I would strongly recommend lavender. Um, that's a, quite a nice one. Uh, you can get an Elemis lavender and chamomile oil. It's like a massage oil, really, but um, I use it sometimes to rub into my temples to help relax me. Also, if you're looking for um, doing any uh, ritualistic kind of work or if you want to do things in a certain way um, and you want them to connect with spirit, you can use um, candles. Candles are a fantastic way of linking because uh, one of my previous meditations that I've done is... a. Uh, the dancing flame meditation and some people use a uh, flame for seeing images and things in that to do readings uh fire is quite a, a good way for some people for connecting with spirit because they see things within the fire so uh you can use a purple candle um is there anything else i need to tell you so foods you'd be looking at cabbage and things like that um black currants, blackberries, uh, so they would be some of the foods I'd be looking at eating, uh, is there anything, oh and beetroot as well, beetroot is another big one that you could use for it, so, um, but yeah, you can use this meditation at any point if this is what you, you could use it before doing any connection work and preparing yourself for that, um but yeah that's just one of the many different ways you can do it but uh, certainly affirmations will come in quite handy if you're looking to create that connection with spirit um thank you for your time today and i hope to see you again soon